Everybody get down now! Get down on the floor, everyone, now! I said get down! Please, uh, my name is Mark Freeland. I'm a U.S. Senator. I can help you get anything you want as long as you stay calm here. If you just get down on the floor, nothing will happen. Now sit down and shut up! Is anybody else seeing this? Look, you can walk away right now. No crime has been committed yet, but if you keep this up, something will happen you will regret, and then they will come after you. I said shut up! Listen, we're not gonna come after you. We don't even know who you are. Knock it off! Dude, stop! Stop! I said stop it! Hey Mike, are you coming? Yeah, I'm on my way. Early morning again, Jake? This is becoming a habit. Yeah, it's like that dream. Same nightmare? Yeah, same nightmare. Three nights in a row. I'm in line at the Federal Bank, Second and Pike. Three guys, they walk in, they rob the place. I haven't been in there since I was a kid. This time, I didn't do what they tell me to do. Guess what happens? Nothing. It's like I'm not even there. Well, you know you weren't, right? Really there? And there's a girl. Ah, the truth comes out. Huh? It's always about a girl. Can you do me a favor and shut up for like one second? Let me finish. I'm all ears, Jake. This is where it gets weird. Same thing happens to her. And then suddenly, we're not there anymore. Bang, vanishes, and we're in the middle of nowhere in this field. It's me, it's, it's her, and the robber, Mike. Mike, huh? Aren't most dreams supposed to be weird? I mean, that's what I've been told, but I wouldn't know. But do all your dreams are clear and precise, make perfect sense? I don't dream. <laughs> yes, you do. Everybody dreams. Nope, not me. I just go to bed at night and wake up the next morning. Don't remember anything happening in between. You were so weird. Says the guy who walks into a coffee shop every day, but never actually orders coffee. <laughs> Here you go, Jake. One grande fruit medley to go. Thank you, Heather. Hey, Matt, can you turn this up? outside of the Federal Bank in downtown Seattle where there is currently an ongoing situation. We have reports that Washington State Senator Mark Freeland is being held hostage inside. Now at this time we don't have all the details of what is in fact occurring, but we will keep you apprised as more information becomes available. I told you this would work out. I don't know about this man. There are cops and all sorts of media out there. We're never gonna get out of here. It will all work out, man. Don't worry about it. How can you be so sure? Have I ever been wrong before? No, but man, this does not look good. Look, I saw this. I saw all of this. I was taught to put a lot of stock in my dreams. Any of your dreams say how we get out of here?
On January 22, 1855, Suquamish leaders, led by Chief Seattle, signed the Treaty of Point Elliott near Muckleteer, Washington, not far from where we currently stand. The Suquamish gave up title to their lands for acknowledgement and protection of their fishing and hunting rights, health care, education, and a reservation at Port Madison. The Suquamish are one of many tribes of the Pacific Northwest that have lived along the coast of Puget Sound for centuries. I'm not from here personally. My tribe is from New Mexico, and it's commonly known as the Navajo. <laughs> uh, I'm a little confused. Can you help me with something? Of course. What can I help you with? Hey! <laughs> Ah! Hey, hey! Sheriff Roberts. Hey there, Onera. Everything okay? It's nothing. I'm fine. I got a couple fellows. They want to talk to you. About my drawings, right? Yeah. Looks like you've done it again. Try to warn you, but... Hello, Agent Victor. Yeah, she's here with me. Remember, Onera, they're here for your help. Don't let them push you around, okay? You invited them. They don't have authority here. Thanks, Jack, but I'll be fine. Agent Victor, FBI. My office received these drawings and a fax this morning. Do you know who this man is? He was there in the bank, and they were going to hurt him. I don't remember his name, but he said he was a senator. And this man? That's one of the robbers. His name's Mike or Michael, but he loses control and one of the others hurts the senator. Ma'am, I'd like you to come with me. It's okay, Jack. I want to go. Maybe I'll finally get some answers. Morning, Phyllis. How are you today? Hmm. Hmm. Good morning, Jacob. Mr. Drummer wants to see you. Actually, he wanted to see you a little bit earlier, but you just got here. You might want to see what he wants, right away. Did you hear about this hostage situation at the Federal Bank? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Age. Good of you to come in this morning. Yeah, sorry about that. I had some trouble getting here with all the police barricades around the Federal Bank this morning. And it's Auge, sir. What? My name, Mr. Drummond. It's pronounced Auge. Right. Anyway, sit down, Mr. Age. You know, we're going through a little slowdown, and we have to start cutting some expenses. Yes, and you probably saw my email about the increasing efficiencies. Yes, and you spent a lot of time on that, didn't you? Instead of doing your own work. What are you driving at? There's no easy way to put this age, but your position is no longer necessary to the company. Seeing as that is the case, I guess your services are no longer required either. Please clear out your desk, and HR will give you the details of your severance. Are you telling me that I have been fired or laid off? Reduction in force is the appropriate term. That's what happens when your position is no longer necessary to the company. Necessary? No longer necessary to the company? Do you even know what I do? I have given my heart and soul to this company. I am personally responsible for millions of dollars in revenue, and I am being shoved out the door just like that. Look, it's just business. One day you'll understand. I'm not evil. It's just business. Yeah. 
son of a... Why write the ferry terminal? I thought we were just going to the sheriff's office for questioning. We're taking you into Seattle, ma'am. Why do we have to go all the way over there? Excuse me. I said, why do we have to cross the Sound into Seattle? A matter of national security, ma'am. You gave us information about a possible crime this morning, which is currently in progress. Wow, Jake. That was a short day even by your standards. Pink slip? Oddly enough, not pink. I knew this was going to be a bad day. Firefighters have now joined police at the scene in order to contain a blaze. Moments ago, gunmen set fire inside the bank for what we can only believe is a diversion tactic. Two of the perpetrators have eluded police custody, though a third, Michael Jin, has died of smoke inhalation. At this time, it is unclear whether the target of the armed men was the bank itself or Senator Freeland. The authorities have released these two sketches of people whom they believe are possible suspects. If you have any information regarding either of these people, please contact the tip line at the bottom of your screen. Hey, that looks an awful lot like you, Jake. Sick girl from my dream. If you know what's good for you, Phil, you'll put that phone away right now. Ridiculous writers, you come in there every day, all day long, looking for free refills, and you have the nerve What should to... I do? You can't be serious. Jake. Yeah, hi. Uh, you know the sketches you've been showing on the news? Yeah, I'm calm to tell you that I know for a fact that your informant has incorrect information. Well, I know because I'm one of them! Yes, yes, we've been through this already. Miss Spinali, we know you have been in communication with these two people. Tell us how you know this man. I never said I knew any of them or had any communications with them. I told you I saw it all happen before it did. I don't know how it just happened. And you just happened to know that Senator Mark Freeland would be at Seattle Federal at the time of the robbery as well. And you know all of this detail because you have had this same recurring dream for the past three nights. That's correct. I have no idea who that other man is. He wasn't there. So you're telling me you've never actually met any of these people before? Right. Not even this man? Not in person. Right. You expect me to believe this was all just a robbery, don't you? You don't think I know what's really going on? I don't... I have I... been working on this case for 18 months, and this? was much more than that. We don't take terrorism lightly here, Miss Benali. A Chinese national stormed a federal bank earlier today and held a US senator hostage. If none of these people in front of you are the so-called robbers, then I have two terrorists still on the loose. I do not have time to sit here with a crazy woman discussing dream interpretation of all things. Hey. Where were you this morning at the time of the robbery? Uh, first, I uh, was at Gelatiamo on 3rd and Union. So I go there every morning before work. That's where I first saw the news coverage. Tons of people there, you can ask. And you stay there the whole morning? No. No, I was about to say that after that I went to work, where I was fired. You can ask my boss if you like. He seemed to enjoy giving me the information. After that, I went back to the coffee shop because I know someone who works there. And, uh, that's where I first saw my picture on the television screen. Do you recognize this woman? 
I might have seen her. Where have you seen her before? She looks like someone I've seen in a dream. A dream? Huh? No, that sounds silly, right? I must have seen her before. I work right around the corner from the bank. Probably saw her walking down the street or something. And how about this man? He robbed the bank this morning, didn't he? So you know him? No. No, no, no. no he, uh... His face has been all over the news today. Okay. I have listened to enough. The two of your stories seem a little too convenient. Dreaming. Really. No jury is going to believe a group insanity plea. You think I really believe? You two had absolutely nothing to do with this? But I told you before it all happened. Conspiracy with intent to commit? You backed out at the last minute. The first one of you to make a full confession about this terrorist cell will get a break. But I can't promise the other one anything. Terrorist cell? You're kidding me, right? There's got to be some sort of mistake here. There's no mistake here, buddy. Victor, Johnson, this is Mr. Age and Ms. Finale's lawyer. You can stop speaking to my clients now. Joseph Darrow, attorney retained on behalf of Miss Benali and Mr. Age. We're still questioning the suspects, Assistant Director. Have there been any formal charges made against either of my clients? What? We don't have to charge them with anything. They don't have the right to counsel while we're detaining them under Section 412 of the Patriot Act. Not in this case, Hugo. They've both cooperated freely and willingly with your investigation. As much as can be expected. Well, good. Then I believe at this time they are both free to go as they please. Correct, Agent Reynolds? Yes, Mr. Darrow, they're free to go. Anera, Jacob? You can't do this. We were so close to getting what we needed out of them. It's you. You were there. You were behind me at the bank. How's that possible? If they approach you again, either one of you, give me a call. Here's my card. You were retained for us? For both of us? By a third party who would like to remain anonymous at this time. No! 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 I have a right to know Not who... at this time. Wait, what about the other girl? She could not possibly have been at that bank. And I'm not sure why either of you would recognize her in the first place. Who are you, really? My friends call me Joe. <sighs> I know I haven't been seeing the most logical things lately, but that was weird, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Jacob. Jake. Okay. Onera, Benali. Do you want, uh, do you want to grab a tea or coffee or something? Yeah, coffee would be good. They're gone. Lawyered up, both of them, same guy too. Yeah, he matches the description. How did you know he would come after them? So you dreamt the exact same thing? The past three nights. Mike, the senator. I, I can't get over the fact that the bank was actually robbed today. That, that's too much of a coincidence. I know that this is going to sound really crazy. But do you think... I don't know, do you think it's like looking into the future? No, it doesn't make sense. I mean, what happened in the dream, what happened in real life weren't the same thing. I mean, you and I weren't actually there this morning, right? Yeah, no, I guess you're right. 
But even still, I mean... Hey, I'm Matt, Jake's best friend, and you are? Onera. Nice job with the introductions, Jake. I would have gotten around to it, Matt. And how do you know Jake here? Um, we just met. Evidently, Onera here is the one who turned my photograph into the FBI. Uh-huh. You know, it's getting late. I should leave and catch the ferry back to Port Madison. Wait, wait, wait. Um, before you go, if anything like this happens again, we should have each other's contact info. Um, yeah. Okay. Bye. You realize I can hear you, right? How can you hear me? I didn't say anything out loud. This is my dream. I can hear everything. This is a dream, right? You don't think... You! Why are you following me everywhere? Where did you... Do you remember us? What the... Let go of me! <laughs> This isn't me! I'm not evil! Ah! Jake, move! It's okay, I don't think you can see us. Stop it! Right now, stop! <laughs> I'll go grab you something to clean that up, Jake. Thanks. What was that? What was what? What you were drawing in the slush. Oh, that. I, I, I don't know. That was nothing. That was a symbol of some sort. <laughs> I think it was in my dream. Okay, I'm gonna go grab you another one of these. On the house. Tell me if this sounds like something you heard. Aliens come down from outer space, and they have the technology to manipulate human population. It spills in my screenplay. What do you think? I think you need to do a little bit more brainstorming. This all seems like something that's been done before. Yeah, you make a good point. Jake, this is Rich. Jacob just got laid off. Rich is looking to hire. I know it's not what you usually do, but I thought, hey, you never know, right? Rich Simmons. Hi, Jacob Boggy. Nice to meet you. Does she do that with everybody? Nope. Nope. That would be just for me. Ah. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. I need help finding someone as soon as possible. Really? Yeah. I had to fire an employee yesterday, and it appears I'm suddenly really short-handed. You wouldn't be interested by any chance, would you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I would. What exactly would I be doing? <laughs> well, the job would be a facilities position at Rainier Pines Hospital. Facilities, okay. Is there a problem? No. Look, I don't know what Heather told you. I don't really do that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm, I'm a software tester. Oh. Yeah, my oh. Ex experience is in computer science, so no disrespect men, it's just... Not really ready to give that up just yet. I see. I just really need to fill the position as soon as possible. Right. You know, I, I suppose we could make accommodations. You could get out and interview whenever you need to. Just think of it as an in-between thing. Tell you what, 
If you change your mind, or if you know someone who might be interested. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Oh my god! Jake, move! I'm not evil! Stop it! Right now, stop! Right now, stop! That symbol, where are we? Looks like a convalescent home, or nursing home. Why the hell would anyone want to shoot up a nursing home? <sighs> what are you doing? Let go of me. We're not gonna hurt you. Never thought you would. Do you remember us from the robbery? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? I didn't get a chance to introduce myself before. My name is Jacob. And I'm Onera. Alice, what are we doing here? Pat? Okay, what do we do? Figure out who's the one dreaming. What are you talking about, dreaming? Onera and I, were real people. The bank was a real situation. We dreamed about that before it even happened. <sighs> this guy is insane, and I have absolutely no idea why I would be dreaming something like this. Maybe it's not one of us. We were in a bank, and it had transformed into a field of what... Uh, we weren't the only ones who stayed in the dream. That robber, uh, Mike, he, he came with us too. Or we came with Mike. You two are serious. Yeah, but he's not here with us now, is he? I'm not evil. This isn't me. I'm not evil! <laughs> okay, maybe it's a dream that's making him go postal, but how are we supposed to know that it's his dream and it's not somebody else here hey. that's dreaming that he's doing this? Wait, either way it's gotta be like the bank, right? We have to stop this, and we've gotta figure out where the hell we are. I'm not evil. He this can see me. us! Not... Just don't, okay? I'm not evil! <laughs> I can stop it. Look at you. What brings you to the land of the living at 7 a.m.? I'm interviewing for that facilities guy that came in the other day. I thought you said you decided you didn't want to settle for minimum wage just yet. I have bills, and besides, that's um. Rich guy. He said he could find a way for me to leave for interviews if I have to. Hey, I wasn't judging. I saw you come in and I thought I'd get this started for you. Thanks. You are unbelievable. Jake, it's me, Onera. This whole thing just sounds so ridiculous. I mean, this can't really be happening, can it? Listen, I'm heading into Seattle. I guess I'll try out that coffee shop where your friend works. What? Um, not again. God damn this machine. Hi. Hi. I'm Jacob Agay. I'm here to see the facilities manager. Rich. Yes, he said he might be expecting someone. Cindy, take this man to Rich's office, would you? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jacob. You, you can call me Jacob. Jacob. I'm Cindy, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I... I... Got that from before. Uh, have you worked here long? About six months. Yeah? Has anything weird or unusual happened since you've worked here? No, not that I can think of. It's pretty much just your typical rundown hospital. Yeah? Okay. Come in.
Hey, you came after all. Excellent. I didn't think I was going to be this lucky. Yeah, it's hard to find work nowadays. I think it's going to be a lot easier to find someone than you think. Yeah, but finding someone good. Now see, that's the trick. Welcome to my little world. As I said, I'm the facilities manager in this lovely establishment, responsible for keeping all the crap shipshape and operational. Unfortunately, we have to make do with a lot of equipment that should have been retired years ago, hence the wonderful facilities department. If you want to make a difference in people's lives, my friend, here is where you're going to do it. So, do you want the job? Uh, look, to be completely honest with you, I need to be here, but I don't know that I'm really qualified. Qualified? Definitely overqualified. Look, the stuff we have here is all cobbled together or it's too old that no one else wants it. Now all I need is someone smart who can help figure it all out. You think you can do that? I think so. Great. Great. Here is a Rainier Pine staff shirt. I'm going to get you started right away because there's a lot to do. One of the machines on the main nurse's station is on the fritz. Oh, um, okay, I guess. I don't really do things on that side. I, you know, I can give it a look. I like your thinking, son. So what do you like being called? Uh, Jacob. Jacob. Uh, my friends call me Jake. Great. Now, as long as you don't go getting all crazy on me like the last guy, yep, we're all set. The last guy? Well, here's the first page of the never-ending list. And this lovely young lady here is Gladys. Now, don't you let him give you no lib, Gladys. You keep an eye on him. Keep him in line. I'll be back for him in a bit. I expect this is going to take him a while. Hi. Uh, I'm Jacob. New facilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um... Rich said that I'm supposed to take a look at a... A hooey? A hooey computer. What are you talking about, boy? You better not be making any new problems for me. No, Rich just says that the computer he was messed up and he wanted me to... Messed up computer my ass. You think you can just come in here and start messing around with things? Moving cords and screwing up with my personal space? Look here, son. This is my personal space, not yours. Mine. Yours is somewhere over there down the hall somewhere. Don't you come barging into mine. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call Rich, because I don't think that this is right. I, uh... <laughs> what? I'm just playing with you, honey. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Great. Oh, you should have seen your face. <laughs> it was the best one yet. Yeah, I bet it was. <laughs> you got to expect it being your first day and all. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, you're right. I, I should have expected it. <laughs> it's, it's right over here, honey. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will be in the middle of something, and it will just shut down. The lights on that box thing will stay on, but nothing works. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Do I look... As stupid as you sound. No, I look. I... <laughs> oh, you're gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I think. to me. Uh-huh. What's wrong with it? Well, well, it's worn through. That's what's wrong with it. Sabotage. Worse than that. Rolling chair. What? Yeah, your rolling must have just worn right through this. It's okay. It's an easy fix. I'm sure Rich has another one in his office. Well... 
Aren't you the clever one? <laughs> I think we'll keep you around for a while. You know, Pat, the last guy who was here, he was a bit of an idiot if you ask me. I have to do my rounds. You need help finding your way back? Yeah, that'd be great. Just give me a sec to check in on a patient as we go. Now, don't mind Cassandra. She's always a little bit off. Hi, Miss Cassandra. How are you doing today? Fine, fine, Gladys, but I've told you a thousand times. My name is Sarah. Right, right. I gotta check in on your neighbor for a minute, okay? Mm. Hi, I'm Jacob, new, um, new facilities employee. What's that, uh, what's that you're reading there? A young lady's illustrated primer. The Diamond Age. You know the title. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've read all of his books. Wouldn't peck you for a Stevenson fan, though. <laughs> Don't be fooled. Looks can be deceiving. They all think I'm crazy. But I'm not. I know who I am. Sarah? I've always had a special place in my heart for Miranda. Stuck in someone else's world. Huh. Is that right? I won't be sticking around much longer, though. And where do you plan on going? She wouldn't believe me anyway. Alice? You know her? No, N not exactly. Because we only know her as Jane Doe. She came in a couple of years ago after a car accident. Didn't have any ID on her, so they shipped her off to us. Less expensive to take care of her here. She doesn't look like an Alice, though. You would say that. How do you know her? I, I don't know. I, I just know that her name is Alice. I've changed my mind. You might be an idiot after all. Uh, um, I'm sorry. I, I, I must have met her a few years back or something. Hi, I'm looking for Jacob Age. Is he a patient or a staff yeah, member? Staff, I think. Never heard of him. Look, I don't have time to explain right now, but I really have to get back there right now. Can you just buzz me through? Proper ID is required in visiting <sighs> patients or staff. Just open it! No. <sighs> Miss, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. I'm calling <sighs> the cops. <sighs> what?
Where is she, Rich? Where the hell is she? Where is she? Cindy? She's not here. She went home early. Not her, the other one! It's all her fault. The other one. Where did he go? I don't know. He was right here. Oh my god. I think I know exactly where we have to go. She's in a room down here. What? Did you find her here? Look, there's no time to talk, okay? We just need to find him, and we need to stop him. Give me a briefing. What have you found? We found the truck. It looks like he acted in Rome. Keep looking. There's something that we're missing here. My brain, they shake me away. 